Turing Award winner Jack Dongara told me that in high-performance settings, operations are essentially free, so counting instructions is not a good proxy for performance. So why does every CS course use the RAM model for asymptotic runtime, and what should we use? Imagine picking two people on the planet to shake hands. The handshake won't take long, but getting the two people together will. Even worse if you stipulate that they need to do it at a spaceport. In this analogy, the people are data, the handshakes are operations, and the spaceports are ALUs. Runtime in this environment is determined by how effectively you can schedule transit, especially in cases where which data you need depends on the results of prior operations. Where this is really done right is in quantum computing. To minimize data movement, operations can be performed at many places in the topology, as if there was a spaceport in every city. And scheduling the motion of qubits is not left up to a runtime decision of the chip, but is optimized thoroughly at compile time. Classical computers have a topology too, but it is unfortunately understated. I hope future computer architectures bring new interesting topologies and direct ways for data movement to be scheduled at compile time.